Um, so you guys know that I love my crock pot. My crock pot meals, it's my saving grace during the week. Busy mom over here, we got a million things going on with sports and work and just life. So I use the crock pot a lot. And I'm gonna change it up a little bit today because I make chili once a week and I usually do it with a can of tomatoes. I do like a Southwest chili, red beans. Um, but I'm gonna do white chicken chili instead, white bean chicken chili, and nothing red. I'm gonna keep it nice and light, almost like still a little cold, jumping into the springtime. It's the next step. Uh, it lasts great all week in the fridge that you can just scoop out, quick dinner, make some rice with it if you need. Um, but this is everything you're gonna need, and our secret ingredient in this is going to be fresh lemon juice. I'll show you, it's my own little, little tweak on it. But fresh lemon juice, cilantro, chicken, beans, we're making chili. Everything you're gonna need right here, we're gonna use ground chicken. Uh, if you wanna do this with turkey, feel free. Um, carrot, celery, and onion, some garlic. Um, my seasoning mix right in here. We have cumin. Um, oregano, salt, white pepper, and a little bit of lemon pepper. I have fresh cilantro chopped up and parsley. Like I said earlier, fresh lemon juice. It's around three tablespoons. It was just, it was actually two whole lemons juice. And then I'm using white uh, kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed. So first thing we gotta do is get our turkey meat ground because we're gonna do it all in that puppy right there, crock pot. Browning it, getting it all together, mixing the seasoning, putting it in the crock pot, and getting on with my day. Back on the range is our ground chicken. It is browning up. That's, it was two pounds, so it's gonna take a minute. Um, and I always wash my celery and clean it when I come home from the grocery store. So I'm just cutting these, Ooh. yay thin. Medium dice all the way through. So I'm gonna cut up all my carrots and celery and dropping them everywhere. Uh, a nice medium dice so it has some nice body. I'm gonna cut the onion the same way. Garlic, thin slice it. I like it thin sliced. You can mince it if you want. But same thing with the onion. You want a nice medium. So we're gonna cut all our veggies like that. Slicing our garlic. Browning my meat, um, I drained it, put it back in the pan. And I have learned my lessons because I do the two pounds of meat for my family. Um, sometimes it's hard to turn in the crock pot. So I'm gonna put my seasoning in now so all the meat gets really like well coated and it gets evenly dispersed. So our cumin, lemon pepper, salt, and garlic powder is gonna go right in here. Stirring it really well. Then I'm gonna put it into the crock pot and we'll saute our veggies next. That at least gives me a little bit more room to kind of fold them in. But this way, all the meat is seasoned really well. Put my meat in the crock pot, it was seasoned. Now I'm getting my pan, I just wiped the pan out with a paper towel really quickly. A little bit of oil on the bottom. Diced up my carrots, celery, and onion, and I have my garlic thin sliced. And you know me, it's all in the prep, so if I'm over here, it's already all done. Hot pan, throwing this in. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Um, I like to get a little color on them and sweat them down. And what I'm gonna do is saute it down, add the garlic, let it get a little brown, a little bit, hit it with lemon juice. And that will deglaze the pan, but the lemon juice is gonna add this acid and this bright flavor. I think with the beans and the chicken, it's gonna be delicioso. So I'm sweating this down, but I wanted to say, if I did have two cans of um, white beans, I would have used one can of chickpeas. Uh, you can definitely use chickpeas if you want instead of white beans. Um, but then I started thinking like how to elevate this a little bit more because I'm gonna deglaze the pan with the lemon juice. I'm gonna add a little tahini. And the reason that is, I think it's gonna add this nice nutty, uh, creamy texture to it. I'm gonna add some tahini here, then deglaze my pan. Um, so in here, carrot, celery, onion, garlic, sweating down, probably has like another minute. Same pan I did the meat in, so it's nice and big. High heat, giving it a stir, that's it. So this is the brand of tahini I like. I get it at ShopRite, it's the whole seed, and the reason I like it, 
because it's super creamy. I'm kind of at the end of the bottle here. Uh, and it, you just shake. But what we're doing, I'm gonna do probably one finishing the bottle. So one tablespoon, anything that's left in this bottle. Yep, probably, yep, that's it. So it's one tablespoon, up there. Stir it in. Ooh, I like it. I like it. And my veggies have some nice color. So adding in our parsley and cilantro, adding in our lemon juice. Like I said, it was two whole lemons. All right, mix together, add it all together in the crock pot, set it low, forget it. I mean, it's a good saying, right? Set it, forget it. Okay, this is the veggie saute, just a different angle, but you can see the creaminess from the tahini and the lemon juice. Our ground chicken is in here. Going to add this in. This is the crock pot that I use. Like I said, two pounds of meat, garlic, celery, carrot, and onion. And the only thing I'm not gonna add right now, I'm gonna add, <coughs> excuse me, halfway through, is my white beans. Not adding my white beans in, I'm gonna add them halfway through. I don't want them to get completely mushy. Um, but you can see now, giving this a toss, see how easy to get to fold the veggies in versus um, the seasoning. But we're gonna set it. I have it on high for right now for at least four hours. Then I'll add my beans, turn it to low, the last two. So I can serve it to my kids when they get home. But you know, we're gonna try it first. Chicken chili, been on for six hours. We added in our beans. Oh, do you see this? Added in our beans. And I also added in one scoop of sour cream at the end right now to fold it all together. Look at this creaminess. If you wanted to add corn to this, cause it's like a white chicken chili, you can add corn. I'd get the frozen white corn and add it in right now. Um, but this is perfect. Oh yes, just gonna make some rice for dinner tonight and we are good to go. If you make it, try it, tag us, let me know.